Hi guys, it's Tammy, and today we're going to do our project for you exclusive members who are in my Stampin' Club, and we are going to use these little bags, and I honestly, if I'm telling the truth, did not get mine at through Stampin' Up. I already had them, but we do sell them, so I wanted you to see them. Uh, I purchased mine, I do not know when or why, but I have stuff like this all over the house. But these are four inches by nine inches. So let's see, These the ones that we sell are three by six or two by eight. So the ones that Stampin' Up! has are smaller than this. Uh, they're gusseted cellophane bags, which I think is what this is, yes. So um, the Stampin' Up! ones are, what did I say, three by six. So the Stampin' Up! ones are an inch shorter, so they are this big and this tall. So the Stampin' Up! ones are pretty, fairly small. They're this big. So the ones that I have are a little larger. I'm thinking that if I have enough, you guys will get one that's this size. If I need to reorder, I will get the Stampin' Up! ones, so yours may be a little smaller. Same idea of what we're going to do. <clears throat> and this is a super, super easy project, but I thought it would be really cute. And you can put whatever you want inside the bag as a little treat. I thought that goldfish crackers would be really cute, but you can use whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to include some of the white baker's twine so that you can tie this around. I don't have any of the goldfish crackers right now, so I'm not going to actually do it. But just imagine this with some goldfish crackers inside. And then what I'm going to do is I am taking... Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I will do, because I want to put a goldfish on the outside, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll use, maybe I will make it like a little tag. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I will take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is just a scrap piece, so let me see what size we'll make it. We'll do... by I don't think I cut that very straight I must not have had it oh maybe I did okay didn't look like it was straight when I was doing my thing let's do two by four and actually that's probably too big let's do two by three I haven't even decided how I want to do this yet because in my head I had one idea and then now I'm coming up with something different I'm gonna go with my first idea so you just need it doesn't even matter what size your your paper is you just need a small piece of paper because we're going to stamp this little goldfish on it and then we're going to die cut him out so it's just a little piece of spare scrap whatever so I'm even just going to use this and you will get a piece of this so I'll probably just put it down inside the bag or with the bag or whatever and you just really need one goldfish it's funny like when I start doing something and then sometimes I think of something else and I'm like oh well maybe I should do it that way but I'm just going to go with my original plan because I think this is cute. So I just have a little goldfish. I was going to fussy cut it, which you are more than welcome to do. Or you can use your little die cut that you get with the framelits. So I'm just going to line this up. Sometimes I like fussy cutting, but I will say that this year... I have noticed a ton of die cuts with stamps, not only Stampin' Up, but other stamps as well. And it is kind of fun. And you know it's, you know, the right size or whatever. And then what I'm going to do is take my piercer if I can find it where are you here you are 
and I'm not going to use my piercing mat on this, but you could. And I'm just going to pierce right in his fin, like right where his body is and his little fin at the top. I don't know what that's called. Probably has this official name. And then I'm going to try to string this baker's twine through it. If you need to make your hole bigger, which I probably do, or maybe cut my thing again so it's not frayed at the end. Do, 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 do. A snip it kind of at an angle. I'm using my thing to kind of help get it through. There we go. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So imagine that that bag has goldfish in it. <laughs> and then you take your little goldfish and tie it around and then you can tie it in a little bow or a little knot, whatever you'd prefer. And look how cute that is. It has the little fish and it's just a little bag. And if this is too big for you, just chop some of it off so that it's got a nice little top. And it looks like a little bag of fish. You know how when you go get a fish at the pet store, it comes in a little bag with some water. So I just thought that was really cute. It's a super simple, easy project. But how cute is that? And it's just kind of a fun way to present a little gift. You could even, I mean, you could do it snacks for kids, which is kind of what I was thinking. You could put... I don't know, let's see, a little candle in it. I mean, it doesn't have to be food, although you could make it cute food. Um, anything would be cute. Just a little gift in here. Actually, you know what? I have a birthday gift that I need to give to someone. Let me see what I can come up with here. I have this birthday cake candle, which is smells so good. It's like a little... Um, melt. I'm going to put that in there. And then hold on just a second. Let me collect a couple things. have my little crimper and I have some paper over here that's just extra hanging out so how do I use this again I have to remember I'll cut this part off throw that away and then I'm just going to make little confetti things is what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. And then I'm just going to take them and crinkle them up a little bit the other way. <laughs> Very technical and high tech here. Crimpers used to be all the rage. We don't get much use out of them anymore, but I do like them for little gifts like this. And I don't know, I could put a washi in there or something. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I'm trying to think of something that I know she'd like. Um, 
But I honestly, I think this is probably enough. It's just a little saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. Hope you have a happy day. And I think it's kind of fun to run the string around a few times or a couple times. As many times as you want to, but I just think it adds to the nostalgicness, or I don't know what the word is, of the whole packaging. So there we go. And then I'm just going to tie it in a rough knot because the whole thing is just kind of rustic and just kind of cute. And there we go. So your, your, uh, the project today is pretty simple. I might give you each a little piece of crimped paper too. I don't know what color you guys will get, but it'll be whatever I have as spare. So if you wanted to do something like this, you could, or if you wanted to put like goldfish in it, which was my original thought, that would be cute too. I just don't have any little kids anymore that I would send this to in lunch, but wouldn't that be fun to take to the cafeteria or to take on a picnic or whatever? Ooh, a picnic might be fun. I keep missing this spot where this goes. A picnic might be fun. Like me and my hubby, I could take us and put little goldfish in here and just, it's cute. I think I will cut a little bit of this top off. There we go. Now this is going in the mail, so it'll probably get squished, but I'll kind of turn it like that so that it won't be too bad. But yay, there's the project. I hope you guys like it. Hope you try it. And thanks again for subscribing. I'll let you know what's next month. Bye.